Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you how to get Dialga or Palkia in your game. So what you have to do is you have to go to GameStop and get these codes. You can just go up to that person and say, hey, can I get a code for Dialga or Palkia for Pokemon Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, or Ultra Moon, and they'll give it to you. So this shows that if you have Pokemon Moon or Ultra Moon, you'll get Dialga, Sun, or Ultra Sun. It says Palkia. It says level 100 plus gold bottle cap. And then level 60. So I don't know if they give you the Pokemon at that level. Or you could level it up to that. Or something. Like if you just started the game and you already get a level 100 Pokemon. That would make the game pretty easy to beat. It says the code below will only will unlock only one Pokemon. It's level and if it has a held item depends on which game you have. Use these steps along with your code to get either Dialga or Palkia. So I'm going to show you how to do it, so I'll just turn my game on. So we are at the screen right here, so just click A. So once you get here, you have to click Mystery Gift. The reflection of the light is pretty annoying. Okay, so I did Mystery Gift. I don't know why I came here. That's weird. Let me restart it then. While that is starting up, I guess I could just scratch my coat off. So far, I only have like one. But I'm going to try to go to GameStop and get more. There are actually a few GameStops near me. So maybe if I get more of these, I can give them away. It's probably best if I use something else. Scratch this. I don't have a coin right now, so like... So if you are under 18, just use a coin to do this. This doesn't seem to work that well, but I don't have any coin right now. Maybe I could try doing it with this. That's better. So you can see most of the code now. So yeah, I'll try to go again so I can do a giveaway of these for some people if GameStop isn't near them. I'm also doing a giveaway of Pokemon. Oh, I should not have done this. Oops. This might ruin my display. Let me just get this off. Okay, so here is Ultra Moon, right? Maybe I should turn the light off. The glare is really bothering me. That's better. Press start. You're supposed to choose Mystery Gift, right? Click Mystery Gift. Okay. Mystery Gift allows you to receive great gifts th through various communication modes. Once you've received a gift, please go to any Pokemon Center and pick it up from the delivery man. So it says Receive Gift. Check the card album and read info. You have to click Receive Gift. And then you have to say Get with Code or Password. Attention. If your battery runs out or you're disconnected while you're receiving a gift with the code or password, you may no longer be able to receive the gift using the same code or password. Okay, so I have battery. Hopefully my internet works. My internet is not the best. Could not connect, no. Let me try it one more. I hope my internet works. No, so I'm going to check that and come back. So I found out what the issue was. Basically, I had my old internet password inside, but that was incorrect. So I had to fix it. So I did everything again. It turned out that I didn't download the update, so I had to do that. So now it says, please enter the code or password. So now I'll enter my code here. This is my code, and I'll just type it in here. So I just finished entering my code. I think it's one time use only, but you could try it and maybe it will work. So let's see, enter. Verifying it, don't turn off the power. 
Searching for gifts, zero of 100. So it's 100 out of 100 now. This is what it says. Timely Dialga. The time has come for the legendary Pokemon Dialga. Announce the presence of the mighty Steel and Dragon type Pokemon with its signature Roar of Time attack. And I'll select Dialga. Receiving your gift. Don't turn off the power. Dialga, super cool. Really cool. Thank you for playing Pokemon. Please pick up your gift from the delivery man in any Pokemon center. A button. Okay, so I'm here. Okay, it says there's a gift you have not received. Please start the game and pick up your gift. The Pokemon Center, so let's go there. I'm still pretty early in the game. So I'm actually in front of the trial thing. Let me go to the nearest Pokemon Center. Yes, yeah, so let me just go there. So I'm at a random Pokemon Center now. Let's walk in. Here's our delivery guy. Interesting. I didn't expect the delivery guy to like be wearing like these kind of clothes. Okay, so I have to get rid of one of my Pokemon for now. Okay, so I'm back here. So let's see in my Pokemon. So Dialga is level 100. So I want to try Dialga out, go in some random grass. I want to see what moves it has. And how strong it is. It would be pretty easy to beat the game with a level 100 Pokemon. Like especially if you just start the game and you have a level 100 Pokemon. Super cool. Okay, so it has Roar of Time, Aura Sphere, Draco Meteor, and Flash Cannon. Roar of Time, the user blasts the target with power that distorts even time. The user can't move on the next turn. Power 150. So I use it, but it says Dialga won't obey. Aura Sphere, the user lets loose the blast of aura power from deep within its body at the target. It never misses. Let's try Draco Meter. Let's see what it is. 130. Comets are summoned from the sky into the target. Flash cannon. The user gathers all its light energy and rele releases it all at once. So let's try this. I accidentally clicked Roar of Time again. So Dialga is loafing around. So I wonder if it will let me make Dialga attack. Any attack. Maybe we need to reach a certain point in the game until Dialga will obey. So that's kind of sad if it doesn't obey any move, even if it's like a weak move, like... So it used Draco Meteor. Goodbye, Fletchling. That is pretty cool and thanks for watching and I'll try to go to GameStop and get more of these so I could do a giveaway. I'm currently doing a Pokemon TCG giveaway as well. And thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below.